Hello, welcome back. Thank you for joining me again. I've been MIA because, to be honest, I have not had any ideas for content. My life is actually fairly boring. <laughs> There's nothing like too crazy ever going on. Uh, and, you know, I just... And I, I, I would be lying if I said that I didn't have, like, you know, I have trouble... I'm still not entirely comfortable sometimes with recording content or being happy with the content that I do make and then putting it out into the world. I'm still kind of struggling with that. So that's that. Today I wanted to really talk about my running streak that I recently took up. I Today's, I believe, my 18th day of running every day. And it's been a lot of fun. And I think running finally clicked for me after you know, some time of trying to run and hating running and, you know, feeling like I wasn't meant to be running and then trying lifting and then uh, eventually I got tired of lifting and then I got injured and then I couldn't do either. Um, and so I'm just kind of, I was really inspired to make this video um, because I feel like, especially right now, you hop on social media and all you see is like these very perfect, athletic, slender women and girls that are running. And there's not a lot of like mid-size, there's definitely a rise, don't get me wrong. Like there's a lot of creators um, now that are, you know, that kind of look more like me um, in terms of like body shape, body frame that are taking up running. And they're kind of like, you know, trailblazing. And it's really inspiring. And I was very motivated as well by, I can't remember the last names, Cassia from the Nine Lives podcast. And then Savannah, who's been keeping an insane running streak for like over a thousand something hundred days. And it's fascinating to me that they're able to do that. And they're just so inspirational. And... I've always been kind of jealous of people who find a sooth soothingness in exercise because I feel like that's not been me. I I enjoy like sweating, I enjoy being active, but I feel like movement has never been like in my mind a form of something therapeutic at least. And trying to do this running streak really just started as a way to like shake off some stress from I don't remember what exactly was stressing me out, but I just felt like, let me try running. Let me try running one more time. I haven't really ran since I was injured earlier this year, and I just kind of wanted to, to do something. And then I really enjoyed it, actually. So I was saying like, oh, well, let me just try it for, let's see how long it lasts, right? And here we are 18 days later. Today's going to be my 18th run tonight, and... I just wanted to share some things that I this running streak has done for me in just this short amount of time. Like I haven't even reached a month full of running and it's super early to even, you know, maybe to some people it's, it's too early to even feel like there's changes going on or things going on. Also, I'm sorry for the crazy amount of noise that you're probably going to hear Hopefully you don't, but if you do, it's construction. It's going on in the back of my apartment. It's irritating me because it's so loud and it's been going on forever. And I just, ugh. but anyways, you hear it right there. Anyways, the first thing that it's done for me, I wrote some notes, is it's allowed me to bounce back way quicker from my emotions. I am historically a diva downer. I'm just internally i'm an angry girl i'm a sad girl it's not something that i'm proud of but those are emotions that i think prevail a lot within me always have um and it's one of those things where my day will be fine and then one thing happens and then you know shit hits the fan and it's over and i'm in a bad mood for the rest of the day and a lot of the time i don't even want to be out of that mood it's like no let me just be mad let me wallow and running for me has become more of a, like a reset button. I'll I'll run at any time of the day. I've ran a couple times in the morning, middle day, evening. 
And regardless of what time, it, and even for how long, it does not ever fail to reset my emotions and just kind of give me a, a, a clean slate and be like, okay, how important is this really? Like, you know, does this, is this, is there a reason why you should be this <laughs> angry hours later after something very small, very frivolous happened to you? Probably not. And so that kind of leads me to the next point. Um, from being able to bounce back from the emotions has also came with like being more mindful of what is in my brain because as I'm running, there's actually been a couple runs that I didn't run with any like podcast, any music. It was just me and my thoughts. Scary. And it's allowed me to take in my surroundings a lot more. And it's kind of weirdly grounding. Like I know you're moving and it's like a lot of breathing and like a lot of times you feel like, you know, you're like, oh, God, I'm running. But it's been so grounding to me. Um, my favorite thing to do right now is doing the um, guided runs on the Nike app. I love Coach Bennett on there. I, they have been game, like total game changers for me. The other day I did a 30 minute um, gratitude run when I was not feeling so grateful. And it was one of those things where, you know, the prompts given and just the conversation that's kind of playing through your head sometimes is so eye-opening because you we move so quickly through the world all the time, especially me. I am like a let's go, let's go, let's go kind of person. And they've definitely helped me just slow down in a way, even though I'm moving forward and ideally moving forward at a faster pace. Um, it, it's allowed me to mentally slow down, which I think is something that I haven't had the opportunity. Maybe not. I ha Let me rephrase. I have not given myself the opportunity to slow down in my brain and just kind of mellow out mentally. And it has been really, really, really beautiful to experience that over the last 18 days because I feel like I'm in just overall a general better mood. I can handle things a lot better <laughs> than I would have, I don't know, let's say a month ago, because I know it's like, okay, if I'm having a hard time managing the emotions in here, like just by me, let me, let me go shake it out on a run and then let's revisit the problem. And it's, it, like I said, it's been a game changer. And then let's see something else. Well, actually, let me, let me, changed the order of these two bullet points I had. So on that same like mental like aspect of it, it's really helped me feel accomplished. Okay. Because I, I've, I'm sure you've heard in my other videos, if you watch them, I work retail and retail can make you feel like a sack of garbage. Not only do customers treat you like garbage sometimes, sometimes maybe your management isn't all that great. Um, or, and not saying like me specifically, but I'm saying like in general, you know, it's just taxing sometimes. Sometimes you're not in the mood to go. Sometimes you're tired. Um, and especially because I feel like a lot of the times we, again, just my experience on social media, you see people like doing other things and not being in retail and retail being a form of like kind of like lower skill jobs and, and they're not as prestigious, right? And it can definitely make you feel Kind of like you, it's, so right now I'm taking a break from college. I took this term off and I would be lying again if I said that just working retail only part-time has not made me feel like I'm not doing anything with my life. That's not, like, I wouldn't tell that to somebody else, but you know, like I would never tell like one of my coworkers, like, oh, you're not doing anything. They are not stopping with this construction. It's killing my vibe right now. Anyways. I would not tell somebody else that because they're working retail only and not going to college or et cetera, that they're not doing anything with their lives, right? But somehow I feel like that that's how I feel about myself. And starting to run, especially because I work the later shifts, like having a run, knocking one out before work, has made me feel so much better because it makes me feel like I accomplished something. It gives me a sense of like, I already did something hard most of the time. Like running isn't easy to me, right? Sometimes I don't want to do it. It's like I accomplished something already. 
I can definitely take this shift on, right? Like it's it's not that big of a deal. And I think that also comes from the clear headspace that running has given me. Like it's not that deep. It's just a job, right? A, a bad customer comes through. It's okay. It's probably nothing personal. And it's just allowed me to better move through my days. Um, then one of the final things that I had that I've noticed, again, just in 18 days of running, it's been that my body image has been a lot better. I, I've noticed myself like carrying myself in a better manner, um, caring a little bit more about how I dress, how I appear, how I show up in the world and for myself. Because for real, before these 18 days, I was going out like, you know, and I still go out like in sweats and casual attire, but like it would be out of more so like shame like I haven't done anything I haven't worked out I haven't done anything I just feel a little like don't look at me I just want to blend in and running has given me a little bit of confidence again where it's like well no you can look nice yeah sure you haven't worked out yeah sure you gained a few pounds over the last few years and what you're just gonna like you know decrease your self-worth because of that that's really not how that should be and that's a cycle that I'd gotten myself into almost for like a year now. And just in like these 18 days, I feel like I've gotten a little bit of that confidence back. I mean, like, well, and let's show up anyways. And you're going to show up well, <laughs> like make sure that you are showing up well anyways. And again, like the whole mindset thing, just like, just because I'm not where I want to be or where I have wanted to be, doesn't mean I'm not going to get there. I'm going to get there. But... I have to get there by taking a step every single day, right? So I'll get there eventually. Maybe not right now, maybe not tomorrow, but I'll get there at some point. So that's been really cool. Um, something that has been kind of helpful to me is also not looking at other runners in terms of like social media because I, at first I didn't really think that it would affect me. Like I thought I could just use it as motivation but it was on motivation. It's like the opposite because then you see people being like, you know, super fast runners. Or they just did this race or that race and they're doing great and they look flawless and whatever. Or they don't look like you. And I'm genuinely not at a headspace ever probably to do that. Like I will compare myself. I know myself and I know I'm going to compare myself and I don't need to be doing that. Because I'm perfectly happy with my little 18 day streak and my own parameters for what counts as a streak day for me. Um, so yeah, I, I, I mean, up to you, everybody's different, but something that has really greatly helped me continue on like even 18 days, which at first I said it wasn't a big accomplishment, but girls, it's a big accomplishment. If you can get out of bed and do anything for 18 days straight that is just to nurture yourself you're doing a good job like give yourself a pat on the back so yeah on that note i was being a debbie downer on myself i was like 18 days isn't a lot in the grand scheme of things and also and eh, you know like i i looked into what like run streaking or whatever it is and I just want to say Reddit is a place full of haters for the most part. But anyways, a lot of people were saying that the running streak thing is like you had to do a mile a day. And I didn't know that. I didn't even know streaking for running or whatever was a thing. I just saw um, Savannah's Instagram and I was like, okay, I really want to run. But having a run streak would be really cool. Et cetera, et cetera. Like I didn't know there was like rules to it. Excuse me, I got like a hiccup burp. And I looked it up just because I wanted to see Curiosity Kills a Cat every time. And I saw that people were saying, like, if it's anything less than a mile, it doesn't count. If it's anything this and that, it doesn't count. People that have run streaks are stupid and they're prone for injury. Or people that don't have a run streak are not as good. It's crazy. If you go online to look up something that you generally like like and are care of, just be careful, okay? Tread carefully. Because that was kind of discouraging for me a little bit. Like, 
come on, man. Like, I just started running and now you're telling me that I'm not a real runner. I'm going to get injured. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not doing a mile, so that doesn't count. Girls, my parameter is running four minutes. The bare minimum I have to do to keep my streak is run for four minutes straight. Most of the time, I'll go over the time just because I'm like, oh, I'm already out here. I don't actually feel bad. I actually feel better than I did when I before I ran. So I'll just keep going. And the, I think there's been a couple of days where I really only ran like four minutes and 40 seconds or something because I was so tired. Like after drill, I don't want to run miles on end. I just want to run a few minutes and, and feel good about it. Right? So, you know, make your own rules or have no rules. Do whatever the fuck you want. Because people are always going to have something to say and people are always going to want to rain on your parade and they're going to think that they're better and all this and that. But if you want to start a run streak, a walking streak, a rollerblading streak, anything, a walking your dog every single day (laughs) streak, which you probably shouldn't be doing anyways. Remember, because they're incarcerated in your house all day. Anyways. Do it, do it, do it, do it. There's no reason not to. And you can be slow. You can walk, run, jog. You can do anything. If it makes you feel good, go ahead and do it. And don't let other people rain on your parade. And have fun. And notice, like, the differences in your moods. Like, you know, kind of make note of what works for you and what you enjoy doing. Because it really has made a huge difference in my life in just 18 days. That it's kind of crazy that I hadn't done it before. And I'm really hyped because I feel like running just finally clicked for me. Like something in my brain was like. And it's just it's clicking for me and I, I really enjoy it. And I look forward to it every day. Even though the day of. Sometimes I'm like, I'm like rusty. I don't really want to go run. But I always do it anyways. And it's fun. And I never regret it. I've never regretted a run. I'm like, oh, God, I shouldn't have come out here. No. At the end of the run, I'm like, damn, I did that. I'm a bad bitch. You know? So, anyways, have fun. Happy running. Happy whatever. So, let me know if you want to see run vlogs. I feel kind of weird vlogging while I'm running because I'm still a little self-conscious. Like I said, girls, I'm, I'm still struggling. But I think that would be a little fun. I don't know. Let me know what you think. And that's it. Adios. Bye.